Hello and welcome to Trivia Night Online brought to you by the People's Trivia Company. I am local celebrity Austin Floyd and I'm your trivia host for tonight's game. Hope you're all doing well. We've got six rounds of trivia in store for you. Uh, first round is general knowledge. No rhyme or reason to these eight questions we toss together for your amusement. Just eight questions for you. Good luck. I believe in all of you and love most of you. Here's number one. What Disney character is probably the most famous mandrill in cinema history? Question number one again. What Disney character is probably the most famous mandrill in cinema history? This is a tough first question. It's a Disney question, but it's a tough first one. Question two. Alphagram, fishing, S-hook, bingo, are all terms used on the competitive circuit of what board game? Question two again. Alphagram, fishing, S-hook, and bingo are all terms used on the competitive circuit of what board game? Question number three. What Chief Justice of the United States and U.S. President, who is also the last holder of the latter office, to support a facial hair or to support facial hair for most of his term, is this case? In this case, well, I butcher this one. One more time. Let me try this one again. <laughs> we're live, pal. Start. Hey, we're live, pal. We're live, pal. What Chief Justice of the United States and U.S. President was also the last holder of the latter office to sport facial hair for most of his term? In this case. A handlebar mustache. That's how you're supposed to say that one. That's how you do it on the second try. First try. First try. First try. I'm actually not. I'm not. If anything, that happened because I'm parched. So let's fix that. Mm -hmm. It's not Dr. Wine's and I'm just wine. Let me give you a second flawless execution of this joke here. Number three again. What Chief Justice of the United States and U.S. President was also the last holder of the latter office? to sport facial hair for most of his term. In this case, a handlebar mustache. I'd say 9.5 out of 10. That was a 9.5. There was a short stumble in there, but it was still. Oh, almost imperceptible to the naked eye. <sighs> grand opening, grand closing. I Fort! What bodily organ produces bile, which aids in the digestion of lipids in the small intestine? A lipid question. I want to see. I for once I want to see Jack's pantomime for this answer. I just want to know what a lipid is. For again, mm -hmm. what bodily organ produces bile, which aids in the digestion of lipids in the small intestine? Hey, Derek's in chat. Everyone, hey, say hi to Derek. I'll take some more, please. Oh. That's our roommate, Derek. Cabana boy, Derek. Mm -hmm. Oh, did we do clinkies? Oh, did we? We'll do I don't now. think we'll do clinkies now. Uh, on on the camera. Clinky. Appreciate it. Five. Oh, sorry. Hamster. No Who is the author and artist of the 2017 book Portraits of Courage, a Commander in Chief's tribute to America's warriors? Famous. Got another local celebrity, Derek, in chat, folks. Roommate Cabana Boy Derek. I hope that catches on. Five again. Who is the author and artist of the 2017 book Portraits of Courage? A Commander in Chief's tribute to America's warriors. Tonight's wine is Menage a Trois. It's the we just buy it in bulk. It's a nice cheap wine. We can get it for like, you know, five bucks. Great. Solid wine. They don't pay us to say that, but you know. They should. They should. Thank you. Question six. What North Carolina mountain is the United States' highest point east of the Mississippi River? Ooh, it's a mountain question. Better yet, it's a second place mountain question. Like, most people know, like, the first, the tallest mountains in continents or. Something, but this is like the second. Not really the second, but it's like it's like a not the first. Six again. 
The question, what North Carolina mountain is the United States' highest point east of the Mississippi River? I was, that's misleading to say it second. It's not. Uh, Teddy asked, what, what's the menage a trois? Is it Dr. Wine? And we said, no, it's, it's not Dr. Wine, just wine, which I like to call sommelier wine, which is wine and wine. <laughs> Yeah. I want. What, I, we mix our wine with wine, to make wine. It's a, it's a Minecraft recipe. You wouldn't get it. Here's number seven. What electric guitar pioneer is the only person to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the National Inventors Hall of Fame? Yeah, that last one was a tough question. That mountain question was rough. Mountain and river questions. There's a president and a mountain question in this round. Tough first round. I don't know how you guys are going to feel about number th round three tonight. Well, I don't know how some of you are going to feel. Here's your final question, friends. I got one more question, then we're going to go over the heckles you sent in. If you want to get those answers in, you can either move quickly or literally buy time. Send us a tip through Venmo. Here are the words that make up the final question. Number eight. John 117 is the lesser known name of what video game character? The protagonist of a successful series developed by Bungie. Mike Crack 100. Yeah, we did it. Welcome, everybody. No answers in chat. Have fun. We got shows every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, scan the QR code uh, to get caught up, but just skip round one. You missed it, but it's cool. Come back tomorrow, but play the rest of this game. Question 8 again. John117 is the lesser known name of what video game character, the protagonist of a successful series developed by Bungie? Yeah. Alright. We're going to keep this on screen for roughly 10 seconds. I'm going to check in with Jack after that 10 seconds is up to see if we have heckles. If we do, we're going to read them. And then we're moving on to the answers. If we don't, we're moving on to the answers. So, move quickly, folks. Oh, we got one. Round one was tough tonight, wasn't it? At least it was tough for everybody. That's that's the point. If everyone finds a difficulty, that's fine. Because we look at this, or Jack looked at the stats afterwards. All right, four seconds. Three, two, and one. Jack, do we got heckles? We do. Let's bring on Jack and the heckle cam then. Hello, Jack. Bonjourno. Bonjourno. Which means great journo. Welcome to the journo. Uh, this heckle we have comes from Joshua. Hey, Joshua. Joshua sa says, My sister just taught her first online class wearing an original unmute me. I'm saying something important shirt. She said it brought everyone much joy, but not as much joy as we all know Austin gets from pressing that button. Push the button. The unmute me button. I like it because I get listened to. No, it's behind hey. you. I layered it wrong. <laughs> I should have a shortcut, but I layered it wrong. Thank you, Josh, for the heckle. We appreciate it. Thank you for the heckle, everyone. All right. Goodbye, Heckle Cam. Goodbye. Have fun. That's Good all we luck. got for round one. That's all we got for round one, folks. We're moving right on to the answers. Get those answers in. Move quickly. How many teams we got playing tonight? We're looking at 40 teams, it looks like. Welcome back, Chilazulations. I think I haven't seen you guys in a while, right? Just welcome back. Dog Bombs, too. Oh, it's a reunion of Laverne Alasta. All right. Get those answers in. No, we got 50 teams playing tonight. All right, we'll get to the team names in a bit. I like that most of these are short team names, or shorter, you know. We'll see what we can to squeeze some more characters in there. But, folks, appreciate the effort here. All right, here are the answers. Favorite team name so far is the real Mark Cuban. The real Mark Cuban's here. Wow. So, get that Venmo up, Mark. Round one, question one. What Disney characters probably... The most famous mandrill in cinema history. Rafiki is the correct answer there. Rafiki is the name of that type of creature from The Lion King. Rafiki is number one. Asante Sana Swash Banana. Two. Alpha Graham, Fishing, S Hook, and Bingo, all terms used on the competitive circuit of what board game? We're looking at Scrabble for number two. Scrabble is the correct answer for number two in round one. Question three. What Chief Justice of the U.S. and U.S. President was also the last holder of the latter office to sport facial hair for most of his term? In this case, a handlebar mustache. Redemption. 
Uh, Taft is the right answer there. I'm just talking about Taft. Can you dig it? Taft. Three. Here's four. What bodily organ produces bile? That's the liver. The liver produces bile. I know that from the movie Three Kings. It's just, just, that's good. It's, it's, it's an okay film. Five. Who is the author and artist of the 2017 book Portraits of Courage, a commander-in-chief's tribute to American warriors, George W. Bush? Oh. George W. Even he could write a book. Bush, hey, it, it can, you can do it, folks. You can do it. Everyone. Got a lot of free time now. Six. What North Carolina mountain is the United States' highest point? East of the Mississippi River. Let's see who got this one right. Uh, Mount Mitchell is the correct answer. Did anyone get this one right? Yeah, handful. Handful. I'm looking at about six. Six to a dozen. Six to ten got that one right. Nice job, folks. Well done. Mount Mitchell, very tough one. At about 50, 50 teams. So about five to ten got that one right. Uh, here's number seven. What electric guitar pioneer is the only person? To be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Les Paul. Les Paul. Finally, number eight. John 117 is the lesser known name of what video game character? Oh boy, they did it. They did it. Video game character, the protagonist of a successful series developed by Bungie. Master Chief is the correct answer. Master Chief, Halo is incorrect. That's not the name of the character. It is the name of the game. It's not the name That's of the character. That's double hard. Yeah. So it's, there's it's, some video game people. Who, there's some people out there. It's like I don't even know video games. I don't know. Them. Yeah. So rest easy that we even we even turn the screws on the ones that do know video yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah. They really got it this time. <clears throat> Nerds. Sorry for yelling. I try not to yell. Nerds. I try to do it often. Don't like. How'd you do in round number one, folks? Tell us. Tell us how you did in round number one. Post your score in chat, or yell it at your screen. <laughs> I don't know. I can hear you. I can feel it. You can feel it. A lot of six out of eights. No, that was a tough round. Mm -hmm. Tough round one. Tough round one. Let's go to round two. Round two is going to be a little easier. We're letting off the gas. We're letting off the gas a little bit. It's all right. You'll get a couple more right in this round. I promise. I promise. Oh, great. Great, great point. If you have a challenge for one of our questions, make it in chat. Jack will probably see it. If you don't see myself or Jack, acknowledge it. There's a part at the end of the game where you can make comments. Let us know there. We'll look it up after the game's over. If we find that an additional answer is correct, we'll give you the point. But I'm not making any decisions on stream. That always angers absolutely everyone involved. Round two is band names. Now it's band names in other words. Not changing the subject. It's band names using other words. I will give you a phrase that using other words swapped out with those words will make the name of a famous band. You tell me the name of the band. Simple? Great. Mm -hmm. Good. Here we go. Here's round one. Or round two, question one. Plumbic Dirigible. What's the name of this band in other words? Plumbic Dirigible. Well, I accept Master Chef for number seven. Hey, thanks, uh, JCY, for the subscription. We appreciate that. By the way, when you subscribe to our channel, that happens. Just saying that's what happens. I promise I'd stop bugging you about it once we hit 1,000. Just saying that's what happens. Number two, band names and other words. Slender Elizabeth. Slender Elizabeth. Uh, Jack sometimes off screen will be like fact checking or like looking up additional answers or things like that, and it's just the most. It's the weirdest stuff sometimes. I'm like, why are you? Oh, oh, it makes sense. <laughs> like, what do you do in your free time? I'll look up pictures of his former presidents. Here, mm. hey, number three. Ebony Pennant. Ebony Pennant. Shelly, I can't tell if that emoji in chat is because of the. Uh, is just that 
round one score that bad. But this mm. can't possibly hate this round. Uh, number four. John, Ted, Robert, and John Jr. Got it, Shelly. Understood. Number four again. John, Ted, Robert, and John Jr. We'll say this for answers, folks. We don't usually uh, n count negatively for spelling. As long as you get in the ballpark, get like close, pronounce it phonet or spell it phonetically, like how you'd say it. That's that's fine. We also we always try to err on the side of common sense. If you if you show understanding of the answer and can you know drill it down to enough before again, Craig, I'll explain this in a moment. Free, I'll explain this in a moment. Uh, <laughs> John, Ted, Robert, John, and John Jr. That's my name. <clears throat> Five. I stole that one from Squirrel. Uh, <laughs> Is it possible those people have acromegaly? Five, it is possible those people have acromegaly. If you ever are in chat and you notice like, hey, my message is gone, it's because you maybe accidentally gave a hint. No, Jack loves banning. Yeah. It's very fun. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Everyone, I think everyone likes this. Uh, more people, I think, will like this round than the last round. I want to stick my neck out there for that one. Get a long neck. Here's six. Reticent rodent. Reticent rodent. Theme round, band names and other words. Oh, I know. It's just what, like, if you say, like, I type something, and I don't see it anymore. <laughs> I thought my moderator was on. Here's number seven. Monarchs from 5000 BC. Yeah. Live and learn. Monarchs from 5000 BC is number seven. Uh, by the way, if you're just joining us for round number two, uh, you can probably still scan that. Oh, actually, let me get this team list updated. If you want to go to quiz.peoplestrivia.co, let me update this. Oh, let me give you number eight and update that team list. Here's number eight for band names and other words. Anger towards a robot. Anger towards a robot is number eight, folks. Get those answers in. Let me get the team list updated. Let's say hello, hello to some of these teams playing tonight. Yep. Oh, it's it's showing. Uh, the oh, that shadow cam. Let's get that off. That's why we have that. Yeah. Shadow cam went on for a moment. All right, uh, we got the teams playing list is updated. Uh, in five seconds, we're going to check in with Jack to see if we have the heckles. If we do have heckles, we're going to go over them. If we don't, we're moving right on to the answers. So get your answers in right now. We do not have guaranteed time. Thank you so much. Yeah, these are all great cover band names, too, or tribute bands, either. You're going to have a have one of those. All right. Uh, submit answers, folks. Move quickly. Let's see how many teams we got playing tonight. Yep. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, and one. Jack, do we have heckles? Um, we don't have any heckles. And we're moving on to the answers. Answers for round number two, folks. Move quickly. Get those answers in. Round two answers. Sorry. Here they come. No apologies. It's a free show, folks. Enjoy the show as you wish. Yeah, but we have nothing to stall with, so we're moving on to answers to round number two. Round two answers. Number one, plumbic dirigible. 
Look for Led Zeppelin for number two, round number two, answer number one. Plumbic dirigible is Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, number two for round two. Slender Elizabeth is going to be Thin Lizzy. Number two, Thin Lizzy for two. Number three, Ebony Pennant. Black Flag was three. Black Flag was three. Number four, John, Ted, Robert, and John Jr. Dead Kennedys is the right answer. It's number four. Dead Kennedys. What? Why? Why, I, why do I hear booing? Mm. Someone's booing me. Oh. Five. It is possible those people have acromegaly. They might be giants. Mm -hmm. It's number five. They might be giants. Folks, get those answers in. Gotta move quick. Uh, Reticent Rodent. Modest Mouse. Modest Mouse is number six. It's seven. Monarchs from 5000 BC, Queens of the Stone Age for number seven. Queens of the Stone Age. And finally, number eight, Anger Towards a Robot. I think we did better on this round. I think this round was better for most of us. Anger Towards a Robot, Rage Against the Machine is round number two. Tell us how you did in round number two. I'm assuming better. <laughs> Mikey got it right. Your answer was Dead Kennedys. Kennedys. Kennedys! Uh, nice job, folks. Welcome to the game. If you just joined us, no answers in chat. It's time for round number three. Round three, ooh, we're, we might be going back, dipping into the, uh, the lake of difficult. The lake tricky. The cove of complicated. Round three is going to be your picture round. In this round, I got eight photos for you. Kennedy! How many, how many Mr. How many Mr. Kennedy fans in the crowd tonight? Huge wrestling nerd. Uh, round three is a photo round. This is sports. We're dealing with sports in round three. Sports. Here's what we're doing. I'm going to show you a photograph of a coach, of a head coach. You name the league that they coach in. All right? Now, be specific. Unmute me six. Mute music, sing, sing, point, and mute music, point, and point. Be specific. Now, when I say name the league, for example, if I put up a coach, and uh, that's the head coach of uh, the like the NC an NCAA badminton team. All right, you need to put college badminton if it's. Professional badminton, you put badminton, all right? If it's women's badminton, put women's badminton. You gotta understand what I'm doing. You gotta understand where, where I'm getting at here. Put the descriptor in this one, okay? Include the descriptors, because none, of, no league is repeated. Look at, we already got the sports pair in for the sports round already. They want Kings of Leon to count. <laughs> want Kings of Leon. They're making an argument? I love uh, it. I, I They need to because I have no I idea. It. I'm right. I'm thinking no, but I love on. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's great. You handle that. You, you're taking care of it. Uh, okay. Name the league. Name the league. Now, if it's a professional league, name the professional league. If it's a collegiate league, name the collegiate league. If it is gendered, gender it. All right? Good luck. Round three, number one. Name the league by the coach. Three diamond club po popping up in chat. Name the league by the coach. Oh, I, I just now understand uh, Eric's uh, super sticker. Keep it up, because he wants more sports rounds. Teddy's husband keeps yelling Kennedy from the kitchen? <laughs> Kennedy! Is a microphone dropping from the ceiling? Mister! If so, your husband's awesome. You married correctly. It's a big wrestling nerd. Two! In the league.
Those people might have ag acromegaly. Big Head Todd. Angel, that's an obscure band. Big Head Todd. That's a... Uh, I mean... Hey. Alright, number three. Name the league. Name the league. Don't name the coach. Don't name the team. I'm not going to say don't name the sport, because sometimes when you name the league, it's in the title, so I don't want to paint myself into a corner, Austin. What are you... What are you doing? Why'd you even... I'm live. We're live, pal. Name the league. I believe these are all head coaches. I have no reason to believe otherwise, or at one point in time were head coaches. Now, sports are weird, right? These photos might have been taken maybe last year when sports happened. So maybe they may not be right now, but they were yes Ken thank you in chat we want thank you we want the position that the people photographed played in the youth sports thank you that I couldn't make it any clearer thank you we want the youth sports position of the people thank you thank you Ken thank you Ken number four name the league <laughs> Love it. I love it that Teddy's husband is a big Mr. Kennedy fan. Can we get can we get Mr. Kennedy? Can we get Mr. Kennedy in uh in a trivia down the line? We need here's our wish list, folks. Hugh Grant, Mr. Kennedy, Mike Hammer, in that order. God. Mr. Kennedy, Hugh Grant, Mike God, all just straight white guys. Can we get some can we mix that up? There's enough of that on this stream already. Here's number five. Name the league. Yes, a squirrel name. Yes, name the stock photo model. Or name the celebrity you think they look like. We'll also not give you points for that. Here's number six. Yeah. Ooh, that's a face. Isn't that a face? That's a grumpy face. He's grumpy. He's not an autumn either. He doesn't look. <laughs> just not right. I see a hand just stretching and Jack stretching. Oh, sorry. I just didn't know what was going on behind me. Here's number seven. I mean, you can make some educated guesses, folks, based on what you know about sports. You can make some hypotheses. Ken saying that's the way the Padres coach looks. Looks no. Because I pictured a winner. <laughs> no hints. No hints. Okay, the hint is they're all sports. Okay, somebody mentioned Star Trek and Conrad's going off in chat. What have you done? What did you do? You asked a Trekkie their opinion. You're getting it. For free. For free. Here's number eight. Name the league. There we go. There we go. That guy's worn those glasses when they were in style. Two different eras. Just, I'm not buying new pairs, Martha. They're gonna come back in style. In this, you know. 2015 rolls around. It's like I got the look. I got the look. <laughs> uh, what the heck are you looking at? 
Oh, it's an ad. <laughs> Alright. Ten seconds on the stream, and then we're gonna go over the heckles. Ten seconds. Uh, Chris was trying... Okay, know that Chris was trying to make that reference in his heckle. I clearly know. He wanted to let us know in chat, so I wanted to make it publicly known that he's editing his heckle. Okay, I... I knew the whole time, and you never had to tell me. Thank you. Here, the heckle cam. Yeah, yeah, it's my turn to read these things. Welcome, heckle cam. Welcome, Ooh. players. Uh, let's read this first heckle. It comes from Reese. Hey, Reese. Reese says, Austin and Jack, you put a little birdhouse in my soul. Oh, I'm your, I'm your little friend. Birdhouse in your soul, not to put too fine a point on it. Say, I'm the only bee in your bonnet. And that, there you go, that's a song. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, we have another heckle. <laughs> <laughs> this heckle is from Christopher, and Christopher says, I was saying boo words. I love a good Simpsons reference. That one, one. that one is just timeless because you can just boo somebody and then deny it with that, and then everyone's laughing. I was saying boo Ernst. We appreciate it, Chris. We appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Christopher. Oh, I miss you guys, by the way. I can't wait to get back to the live in-person shows. We miss you guys. Oh, yeah. I'm going. I got cabin fever here. Uh, let's so many heckles tonight, right? Uh, Sergio has our next one. Sergio says, cheers to the titular chiefs of the Tipsy TV <laughs> trivia. So we try to be. Uh, champagne clinky emoji, TV with bunny ears, wedge of cheese, T-Rex, dot, 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 unicorn, gritted dials. Thank you so much for including gritted dials, one of my favorite emojis. Yeah, tipsy, tipsy, tipsy TV trivia. Uh, that's why we're not titled that, because I can't pronounce it. Yeah, it's a tongue twister. Who'd have thought? Thank you, Sergio. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sergio. Uh, we have a very generous heckle from up, Ken. our surge sergeant at arms, Ken. Ken says, wow, tough couple of rounds to start. About as tough as it is finding proof you were in college athlete. <laughs> oh, no, I was. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I was there. I have the socks. I still have the socks. I kept the socks. I, won't, I don't think I have them, like, readily available, but I do have. The only way you get those socks is if you're on the team. I don't, you know what? I'm saying socks, and I think I have sock. <laughs> I think I have a singular sock uh, from the team. Because that, you turn everything back in. I might have the shoes. Did I keep the shoes? Anyway. I think it's rude to give them one sock, but okay. Ken, I was uh, I was there, baby. Yeah. Ooh, was I there? Thank you so much for the generous heckle, Ken. We appreciate it, cheers. Ken. Cheers. Oh, I think I didn't read that last part. You said cheers. 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 Uh, our next heckle comes from Dan. Hey, what's up, Dan? Dan says, greetings from the Broomsticks and Butterbeer crew. Hello. Just curious, what would be your cover band's name? And which band's music would you cover Jack? love dan jess mike libby boo gidget jennifer kelly and anastasia um what jeez that's a question i would cover the band jupiter sunrise because you've probably never heard it so you wouldn't know how off i am and i would call it um uh big planet sun up mm-hmm uh, we would be old, lost, shame. We'd cover, cover nothing but newfound glory songs. Thank you for the, thank you, Dan. We appreciate it. Check out the Room Six and Butterbeer podcast. It's a uh, one all about Harry Potter. It's great. Thank you. Love it. Two Our, more. Two more. Our next one comes from Osvaldo. Hey, Osvaldo. Osvaldo wants to say, "Yay, sports! Uh, American football, baseball, basketball, soccer ball, softball." We did it. Yeah. We gained all the balls. Those are the balls. Well done, Osvaldo. Thank Last you heckle so much. before the answers to round three. Uh, this one comes from Ben. Hey, Ben. Ben says, hey, folks, want to get Austin back to the brewery slash bars slash delis? Please wear a GD mask. It's a pain, but it's literally the least you could do. Uh, thank you, Ben. I agree. If you step outside your house, put on a mask. Thanks, Ben. We appreciate it. Thank Time you, everybody. People. All right. Bye, Uncle Cam. Goodbye. Let's go on to the answers to round number three, my friends. Uh, again, yeah, if you like uh, Harry Potter, Broomsticks and Butterbeer podcast, it's like the dollop for uh, Harry Potter. One knows all about it. The other one's coming into it blind, uh, chapter by chapter. So it's pretty good. Check it out. 
Uh, round three, answers. Picture round, name the sport. No, I'm just kidding, name the league, name the league. Name the league number one, that's men's college basketball. Men's college basketball. Boy, did I say be specific. Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Like, if you go on ESPN.com and you needed to find this a picture of this, this guy, you'd have to go under men's college basketball. There's a whole thing for just that. So I said, number two, name the league. The WNBA is the right answer there. Oh, let me let me name these people, by the way. Number one, let's go back real quick. Number one, uh, that's, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher these names. Uh, John Calipari from the University of Kentucky. Uh, uh, number two, uh, that's Cheryl Reeve from the Minnesota Lynx of the WNBA. Number three. NFL is number three. Mike Tomlin of the Pittsburgh Steelers for number three. NFL is the answer to three. Number four, uh, NHL. That w That is Gerard Gallant of the Vegas Golden Knights. Boy, did they miss an opportunity. Vegas, you're in the house tonight. The Vegas Knights so cool. is the one of the coolest never used names. Why is the word golden in there? It just messes it up. The, 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 the Las Vegas Knights. The Vegas Knights. Nights, like how beautiful is that? Missed opportunity. Still like the team. Uh, they're scrappy. Uh, number five, we're looking at MLS, Major League Soccer. I've been warning you for a month to study WNBA and Major League Soccer, and this, it came to fruition. MLS. That's uh, Bob Bradley of Los Angeles Football Club in MLS. Number six. Uh, that's uh, NBA. NBA, Greg Popovich, the San Antonio Spurs, at least in this photo. Popovich, NBA. Uh, seven, I'm going to college football. College football for number seven. That's Dabo Swinney? Dabo? Dabo? D-A-B-O. Dabo? That's got to be short for something. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Cle from Clemson University, we're college football. And finally, number eight, we're looking at Joe Madden. That's MLB. Major League Baseball is the right answer, number eight. MLB is the right answer to number eight. Folks, friends, family, people, tell me how you did in round number three. It's over. It's done. It's time for the halftime round. Halftime, we're going to do something? Yeah, we're going to get coins. Let's get some coins. Toss some quarters in there. Make sure you get some quarters. Or not. You know what? No. No, let's not. Let's not. Here's what we're going to do, folks. Halftime is coming up. Let's get halftime on here. Let's halftime. There's your halftime. You're going to be texting a guess of something. Okay, we got an explanation in chat. It's golden because the owner was a West Point grad and has golden knights while Army West Point is the black knight. Okay, that's fine. I get that. Doesn't make it the right. It doesn't make it the most, the biggest missed opportunity in hockey. Like the modern, like it's, it's so, it feels like a, come on guy. Come on. Come on. All right, here's what you're doing. You can almost guess right now. Maybe guess, but don't. You're sending a guest to 657-234-2399. 657-234-2399. One guest per phone. If you have a bunch of people on your team, everyone on your team gets one guest. We're giving away a Target gift card. Oh, yeah. Target gift card, folks. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta do two things. We're gonna bring up uh, Google Voice, see if we can find out if somebody turns it in the first. Actually, we're gonna do it afterwards. We're gonna, we're, yeah. There's no way we're gonna know. Yeah. There's no way we're gonna know. You will be guessing uh, the type and year of a coin pulled out of this mug. Now, here's a hint, folks. There's no quarters in this mug. We need all of our quarters for laundry. So there's only pennies, dimes, and nickels. We're not going to look at any, anything turned in until the timer is up. You guess first the type of coin, and then second the year of the coin that's on the front. Uh, you have to get both, or you at least have to get the type of coin right. If no one gets the year and the type, closest. Uh, closest. We'll just go closest, right? Yeah. So, you got, let's give you two minutes to get this answer in here. Let's say, let's call this, uh, 757. 757, let's shake this up. Send in your text right now, 657 234 Let me show you right here. This is what we're doing. Bunch of coins in here, folks. Bunch of coins. Again, six five seven two three four two three nine nine. Bunch. This is only <laughs> pennies, dimes, and nickels. There's no quarters in here. If you put in, if you can type in as an answer if you want. It's not gonna happen. Would you mind? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. It's okay. We can work on this. Seven fifty-seven is gonna be your cutoff, folks. 
All right, Michelle in chat, celebrating. F yeah, Adam and I got eight out of eight for the first time ever. You got eight out of eight on that round, Adam? Wow. At, is that the same Adam that that greases, not greases the palm, but like celebrates <laughs> sports rounds? Nice job. Nice job. Thank you so much, by the way. You're welcome. Cheers, everybody. 757 is the cutoff. Thank you. Eight out of eight. First eight out of eight. That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling, folks. Eric says it was easy. How dare you? How dare you? But good job, folks. Zero out of eight for Angela. That's my fault, Angela. Not yours. Blame me. Blame me, Angela. It's not on you. You went to the kitchen for a snack. Did you at least fill in, like, guesses? Because there's no penalty for guessing, folks. If... You, if, if if all is lost on a round, uh, you might be able to one take some. We usually put some visual clues in there. We usually try and include one softball. That wasn't an appropriate analogy for that round, but you know, one easier yeah. one. I don't know what that would have been on for. Uh, I guess the baseball, the guy at the end. The Where, baseball was the, the softball. Yeah, the baseball was the softball. Thank you, James. <laughs> That's the same, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Michelle, congratulations on your first day out of eight. Out of eight. All right. Uh, under a minute left to t send in your guess. 30 seconds. We need the type of coin. It's only penny, dime, nickel. There's no quarters in here. And the year on the coin. We, we're not looking at any of these yet. We have no idea. Well, I have no idea. But we're going to reach in here. If no one gets both, you have to get the coin type and the closest to year. If two people are closest, then we got two winners. You're going for a $5 Target gift card. We're going to need your email address, but congratulations. All right. Cut off. Time, 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 folks. No more answers. No more answers. Cut it off. All right, let's do this. You want to bring it on screen? Yeah. Like, oh, oh we'll, do the, we'll do the half screen. You can stay over there. Okay. We got we got a setup for this. Hey. There we go. Ah, look at that. Okay. All right. All right, shut. Get in there. Hey, Get in there. This one. This okay. thing I'm touching right now. Whatever it go. is. One second. What do you got? I got this one. Okay. It is a dime. It's a dime. We're talking about dime, folks. It's like, this is a red ticket. This is a red ticket. And it's 2007. 2007 and a dime. The year I graduated high school. There we go, folks. All right. There we go. Am dime 2007. Myself? Yeah, okay, you're I up. Am. I got you off the screen now. Okay. Uh, 2007 and a dime. That's it. How'd you do? I don't think anyone got it exactly, so it'll take me a while. But. All right, we'll figure that one out, folks, while she's doing that. If you think you got it, let us know in chat. <laughs> Bunch of boos. Bunch of boo. Eric, why? Why, boo Eric, why? you're booing a raffle? You're booing. Oh, Squirrel thinks she. Squirrel's closed with dime 2009. Oh, that might be it. Let me keep looking. We need the type first. We take priority to type. If you didn't get, that if you didn't type. get that, the type of coin, it's gonna be hard for you to win. Uh, nay, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> you needed to get the type right, and then the drill down was the year. It should. Okay, Eric is booing. Not for anything we did wrong. Is because we should have drawn the different raffle ticket. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> I love it. Boo! I want to see you at a church potluck raffle. <laughs> Boo! Uh, Alright. I have a winner. We have a winner! If your no, phone number ends in. 9163. 9163. Close enough. That's your winner. No, I think that's I think that's Squirrel. Congratulations, Squirrel. That's our winner. I believe so, yes? Uh, she'll confirm in chat. Alright, alright, alright. Love it. Adam in chat. No, okay, here we go. Correct me. Let's go over round number four, folks, the questions. Because in this round, it's a little different. It is Squirrel. Nice job, Squirrel. Squirrel in chat won the halftime round. Nice job. Well done. You got a target card coming oh, your way. Great. Love I'm it, love so it, love glad. it. I'm so glad. I like it when a, cele when a celebrity in chat wins it. Oh, Penny 2008 would have been great. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of fun one. We are starved for halftime round ideas. We have no clue what to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we do. Round four is a little different. In this round, we are looking for the name of a famous thing. The earlier you send in a correct answer, the sooner you send in a correct answer, the more points you get. 
the later you take uh, the less points. If you send in any correct answer on the first of four clues, you get four points. On the second clue, it's three points. On the third clue, it's two points. And a correct guess sent in on the fourth and final clue, it's worth one point. It's also the easiest clue, but if you send in a wrong answer during this round, you get zero and you cannot guess again. You get one shot, one shot at this round. Make it count. Great. This usually is the name of a person. Tonight is not the case. It's the name of a, uh, well, you'll see pretty quickly, all right? It is not the name of a person tonight. Good luck. Here's the first clue. Uh, we got a timer on this. Your cutoff for the first clue is going to be 8.03. 8.03 is going to be the cutoff for the first clue, 8.03. Round four, clue one. Good luck for four points. These characters were first created in a series of comics in 1958. Gerda P. Schuers of Ripon, Wisconsin was the world's largest collection of merchandise featuring these characters with more than 11,000 items. These characters have appeared at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, in ads for Kellogg's and BP, in cereals, and even as an act in the Ice Capades. If you know what characters we're talking about, send in the answer, but if you're wrong, you're done. You only get one clue. You better be confident. For four points, again, 8.03 is the cutoff. These characters were first created in a series of comics in 1958. Gerda P. Schuers of Ripon, Wisconsin, has the world's largest collection of merchandise featuring, featuring these characters with more than 11,000 items. These characters have appeared at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in ads for Kellogg's and BP in cereals and even as an act in the Ice Capades. Conrad. I'm not saying mental warfare is not an idea. I'm saying we're trying to not repeat ideas every week. I've used mental warfare more than I've used any other <laughs> any any other halftime round. It's just like I've been eating bread for weeks. Like, we have bread. <laughs> Come on, buddy. All right, 45 seconds. Let them play mental warfare. They can have it. We gave them a thing. They don't deserve creativity or new ideas. Mm -hmm. Patui on this pick a coin. It's a free show. 30 seconds, folks. 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Steven wants a mask scot round. That's mascots wearing masks. Is there a mascot that's currently wearing a mask already that's safe? Now, the... the Pittsburgh Pirates changed the the handkerchief to that. Now the Raiders is wearing a mask for an eye. Anyway, here's the f second clue for three points. 805 is the cutoff. Created by Belgian artist Pierre Coldefort. Under a pen name, these characters first appeared in a comic titled The Flute with Six Holes. Don't Google that. These characters have also starred in a series of video games where they save the day travel the world, and have a dance party. In 2020, there is slated to be a computer animated TV series starring these characters. Oh, Wild Wing. Good point, Ken in chat. Wild Wing from the Ducks is wearing a goalie mask. That is... That's probably helpful. It's better than nothing. A custom made. All right. So he's the, he's in the lead of the Mask Scott Challenge. We Again, for three points. One. Only one guy. Yeah, he's in yeah. first place and last place. Created by Belgian artist Pierre Colaford under a pen name, these characters first appeared in a comic titled The Flute with Six Holes. These characters have also starred in a series of video games where they save the day, travel the world, and have a dance party. In 2020, there is slated to be a computer animated TV series starring these characters. I'm not sure if that happened. 45 seconds on the clock for round four. We got a nice group of heckles that came in in the last couple of rounds. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate that. We'll get those, get to those in a moment. Yeah, you want to split them up? Uh, whatever you think. I was going to do it at the end, no matter no, what. That, no, no, that's okay. That's okay. okay. That's what I was thinking. This is usual. Okay. Under a minute left. Uh, 40, uh, 15 seconds, actually. Not that long. All right, here we go. Two-point clue. I want to see what wrong answers we have in. Yep. 
There they go. There they are. Sorry. Got angry people this round. Here's your 807's next cutoff. These characters were named by their creator, Peyo, for a gibberish word that he said when he forgot the French word for salt. In Spanish, these characters are known as Pitufos. These characters have been the stars of multiple movies and TV series, which also feature the characters Hogath, Balthazar, Peewit, Azrael, and Gargamel. A lot. I thought there would be a lot of these. Hmm. Two-point clue again. These characters named by their creator, Peyo, for a gibberish word that he said when he forgot the French word for salt. In Spanish, these characters are known as Pitufos. These characters have been the stars of multiple movies and TV series that also feature the characters Hogath, Balthazar, Peewit, and Azrael, and Gargamel. 807 is a cutoff, folks. Almost a minute left. Derek appearance in chat. Only when you threaten his life will Derek appear in chat. He's like uh, Beetlejuice, but you have to be unwelcoming. Go away, Derek. Go away, Derek. Go away, Derek. Hey! Uh, <laughs> I don't want Derek to go away. He's great. No, he's a great roommate. Long live Cabana Boy Derek. All right. What do we got? What do we got? 30 seconds. See, I don't want to put Derek on the new shirt because... He'd have to be shirtless. Yeah, we'd sell a couple. <laughs> Derek, what time are you going to sleep? <laughs> Can you help with this one? Oh. It's not intentional. Here is the final clue. For one point, these characters are small, blue, human-like creatures who wear friggin' caps. You don't have to, it's fine. And live in mushroom-shaped houses in the forest. There's only one female in their colony, and some of these characters' first names are Brainy, Hefty, Grouchy, Jokey, and Papa. One point clue again. These characters are small, blue, human-like creatures who wear Phrygian caps and live in mushroom-shaped houses in the forest. There's only one female in their colony, and some of these characters' first names are Brainy, Hefty, Grouchy, Jokey, and Papa. All right. Two things will happen to make a Derek shirt happen. One, we got to find a great slogan. Two, I need Derek's written approval, and he's getting none of the money. Derek, it's going towards rent, buddy. <laughs> Our portion of the rent. Our portion, not yours. Nice. Smart. That's why I married this one. She's. Whoa! Whoa! I almost got. I almost got bamboozled there. By myself. It would be Derek's abs over where your abs would be. No. It would just be abs. Alright, 809 is the cutoff. 45 seconds. Yeah, Derek. We need a lot of sit ups from you, dude. I'm scared because our resident artist is Oh Hey Illustrations. If you've seen any of our uh, theme shows for... Oh, by the way, coming up, if you like the show Avatar, The Last Airbender, honestly, or you have a friend or family member who might like that show, the fans of this show are uh, Not... loyal and uh, vocal about it. Yeah. <laughs> so Avatar, The Last Airbender uh, is coming up this Sunday. we got a quiz all about this Sunday. Okay, here's the thing, though. Folks, uh, if you're a parent... If yeah. you're a parent and uh, you want to show to like, it's three seasons long to watch with your children. And Highly I literally recommend. mean this of any age. It's not a bad watch. It's a good show. Uh, good lessons. Great lessons. Uh, it's entertaining to watch. The choreography is great. Uh, but, and we have a quiz all about it coming up on uh, sun this Sunday. That being said, I am never, ever again going to announce the name of our new... Uh, themed quiz live on this show ever again because all it does is just mm -hmm. get the chat to go like I hate that boo and then I boo. get upset so I'm never again and then he's all pouty after the show and it's because of you and maybe the wine I've drank mm -hmm. uh, and also me all right here are the here's the answer here's the answer looking for round four answer the Smurfs was the 
correct answer. The Smurfs was the right answer to that. How'd you do on that one? Did you get the first clue? Did you guess the peanuts? Did you buy in hard on Thanksgiving Day Parade? Mm. Did you buy in really hard on that? Did you think Charles Schultz was French? <laughs> Schultz. All right. A lot of people said peanuts. Schultz. A lot of people said peanuts on that one. Folks, friends, family, let's move on to round 4.5. This round are uh, four questions that we have loosely related to the clues that I read you. Not exactly directly related to the Smurfs, but related to the clues in the first half of the round. Good luck. Four questions on this one. Number one. Just a few years before they went out of business, the ice capades were purchased by what American female ice skater? The 1976 Olympic champion. Number one again. Just a few years before they went out of business, the ice capades were purchased by what American female ice skater? The 1976 Olympic champion. Sorry, Belgian. Not, I don't think it was French. I covered two things there. Yeah. Belgian. Nice. Nice. Sorry, Belgian. UK. Yeah, yeah. Could be England. Same thing, Eng England. <laughs> England, same thing. England. Belgium, France, England, UK, same thing. Right? Chat, chat will agree. <laughs> chat agrees. Chat's agreeing. Great. Number two. <laughs> Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> has three official languages Dutch <laughs> German and what third language that it borrows from its southern neighbor this makes my Schultz thing look silly <laughs> to again Belgium has three official languages Dutch, German and what third language that it borrows from its southern neighbor better way to ask someone who's under Belgium A lot of people, a lot of people guessed uh, peanuts on that one, folks. Don't feel bad. I mean, feel. I mean, don't feel bad. You should never feel bad about trivia, you know. Here's three. In the canon of Abrahamic religions, what kind of creature is Azrael, whose name translates in Hebrew to one whom God helps? Three again. In the canon of Abrahamic religions, what kind of creature is Azrael, whose name translates in Hebrew to one whom God helps? It's very much so. Here's the final question for the round, then we're going over the heckles. Question four. The hefty brand of garbage bags is owned by what company? The second largest aluminum company in the U.S. Four again. Hi, Derek. Hi. I hear you when you leave your room. Yes, I, I hear you talking. <laughs> Back in your room. The hefty brand of garbage bags is owned by what company? The second largest aluminum company in the U.S. The other way to pronounce that is aluminium. You have to spell it that way, though. I think you need to. Any you need to. Ah. Aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. <laughs> it's the Cockney way to say it. I come from a weird part of Europe. San Diego. <laughs> the, a very weird. Part. Very weird part of Europe. It's very. It's an obscure part of Europe. <laughs> San Diego, California. It's remote. But it leaves me with a weird accent. You know? Like, let's just go. Come on. Mm -hmm. Folks, let's go. <laughs> All right. Round 4.5 is done. Five seconds on the clock, and then we're going to go over the heckles. Four, three, two, one. Jack in the heckle cam. Do Hello. We, have heckles? we indeed do. And let's bring her on. Hello. Hello. I want to read them, so I do. Adam says with his generous heckle, it's Adam. We what it's for. Limiting the sports emojis again. Keep them coming, Austin and Jack. Cheers, we emoji. Listen, we listen to the people. Now, we don't listen 
always to the people that send in the money. That'd be weird. But, but, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And there's a greased palms there analogy somewhere, too. What? You grease a palm is like you bribe somebody is an <gasps> analogy. No, this is a tip. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Adam, uh, supporting the sports. More sports rounds. A sports porter. Uh, thank you so much. Deanna has our next heckle. What's up, Deanna? Deanna says, item as described. Fast shipping, helpful and responsive. Oh, eBay. We just got eBay reviewed. eBay, 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 eBay. Not Amazon. They wouldn't do like item as described. Uh, we got eBay. Thank you, Deanna. People, if you want to do some other... If you want to treat us like we're a different website, go ahead. That's a... I love it. It's a lot. Very smart bit. We're... Our players are smart people. I like our clever bits that our players come up with and that we just point out. Like, you guys have come up with most of the bits that we've done. Like our t-shirts. You're not getting a dollar. Hey, hey. Teddy. Fidel not a dollar. has our next heckle. Fidel says, Good to see the Angels coach. Beer, porn, <laughs> money. But did uh, was the Angels coach on there? Uh, possibly. I mean, yeah. No, that's why I said not. like, uh, look at the. That's why I said there may be some shakeups. <laughs> there some shakeups in 2020. Ah. Uh. <laughs> there was a whole unmute me thing where I did explain that. But thank you, beer porn money. Thank you, Fidel. That's a, that's a long time. We got a lot of long time players that play for a long time. Like the, when I say like the, the community, I mean, look at the teams playing throughout like our social media. Like it's the same teams playing. We thank you guys for sticking with us and playing uh, regularly. That was It's very nice. It gives us uh, purpose, which is fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Madden. Yeah, Madden. They're talking about Madden. The Cubs coach moved to the Angels. I understand. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Fidel. Our next heckle comes from Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey says, I was expecting to see the Mercer County Ultimate Frisbee League represented there. <laughs> because... Mercer County... New Jersey is awesome and fully supports the People's Trivia Co. I love it. Hashtag Shadow 2020. Mercer County, is that what I got? I got to run for comptroller of Mercer County. Is that it? We'll write that down. I'll write that. I'm taking note because everything's legal in Jersey. Uh, my <laughs> friends in New Jersey, I love it. Welcome to the game. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys wanted <laughs> Mercer County Ultimate. Yeah. I would have thrown that in there, and then I would see my uh, viewer count just drop. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Welcome. Thank you for being here. We Thanks love for your support. We, we love really Jersey. Need. We're big Jersey fans now. Yeah. I The number one state. <laughs> don't tell my California friends that. They're, uh, I don't think they're, they're here. <laughs> uh, uh, Teddy has our next heckle. Teddy, hey, Teddy says, hey, guys. Couldn't make it Thursday night, but we watched the replay and oh, enjoyed nice. all the pets. Only problem is, I think our screen got stuck because we still see a big animal butt on the bottom of our TV. Hashtag Kennedy. Kennedy. Hash <laughs> Hashtag lay off the golden knights. Kennedy. Devil, unicorn, grid of dials, smiling kitty, hockey stick, a hockey gold net. Purple Heart Teddy Bear. Kennedy! <laughs> Your he husband could, loved that one. In, in his night, in the night, I'll just hear, Kennedy. Kennedy. <laughs> the, the, uh, very, quick, very quickly, in the, my roommates, uh, back when I used to live with uh, Moose, what's up, Moose, and Keo, uh, we would, our running joke is we would try to get each other to say things that rhyme with Kennedy. Like, hey, what's that thing that like goes over your head like when you're in a hammock? Like, a canopy? Canopy! <laughs> very weird, very dumb. What's up, Moose and Keo? Next heckle. <laughs> I love it. Our next heckle comes from Annalise. It's a hefty heckle. Thank you so much, Annalise. It says, you both are lovely. Live long and spread the good news. That is trivia. Oh, thank Aww, you, Annalise. That's, that's a very me. nice heckle. Yay, I love it. My favorite. You guys are very nice. Um, that wasn't like a heck. That was like the, if you would have yelled that from a crowd, <laughs> you're like, you guys are gross. <laughs> it's very. <laughs> We support you and love you. <laughs> we, we miss you, man, and Just we love like, you. Toss like you throw bills towards the stage, but you're way far back. So that like, happens. Thank you so much, Annalise. <laughs> Thank you, Annalise. A couple more. Steven says the Padres this year will A, throw a no hitter against the Dodgers, oh. B, have an MVP named Manny, 
and C, win the division. Wait, did I fall asleep again? At least you better. At least you're better than the Marlins and Orioles, maybe. Well, that's a low bar. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I well, mean, those are the ones you can cross. I want the no hitter. I thought I thought I was going to get a tattoo of the first Padre to hit the cycle, uh, but then it was. <laughs> No, it it's, was an enemy from the division, so no. Don't even Google it. Uh, um, Kemp. Uh, <laughs> Aww. I know. It was, I don't want to get a tattoo of Kemp. Um, but I might, if it's a Padre, the first Padre to get, like, a no-hitter. Like, we want that. We don't have that yet. That's a good we one. We need that. Thank you so much for the heckle. Last heckle before the answers. Last heckle comes from Adam. Hey, Adam. Adam says, Oh, Adam again. Well, another heckle since I butchered my last. Hashtag wine. Gruda dials. Gruda dials. Gruda dials. Hashtag wine. Uh, all right, let's get back to remember trivia. Hey, butcher your heckles more often, man. Thanks. Hey, folks. Hey, if you want, if you want to heckle, heckle away. Let's go over the answers. Let's get you off the screen. There we go. Uh, if you uh, want trivia, just fast forward. You're gonna watch this later. Answers to round point four point five. Number one, just a few years before they went out of business, ice capades were purchased by what American female ice skater? Dorothy Hamill. Dorothy Hamill is the right answer. Number one, Dorothy. Hamel. Number two, Belgium has three official languages, Dutch, German, and what third language? French is the correct answer to number two, French. I didn't mean to spoil that one, but I didn't. Uh, three, in the canon of Abrahamic yeah. religions, what kind of creature is Azrael? He's an angel. Azrael? Azrael? Az yes. no, it's not it. It's oh, they're all right. It's Azrael. Finally, number four, the hefty brand of garbage bags owned by what company? Uh, Reynolds is the right answer there. Reynolds is the correct answer there. Reynolds. Conrad, I said official languages. Stop it. Stop it. Do your research. Stop it. Here, <laughs> how'd you do in round four, folks? Tell us your score in the chat because it's time for round number five. Round number five is going to be find the theme. In this round, we have eight questions. The correct answers to one through seven have something in common. Take a look at the correct answers. It's either the whole answer, or it's a word within the answer, or it's a series of letters within a word in the answer that will point you in the right theme direction. Um, keep an eye out. Focus on the answers you know you have correct. Ignore the complete stabs in the dark, uh, because that won't help you out. Once you maybe have the theme, double back to the harder questions, because now you have an additional hint. Good luck. Here's the question number one. America's missing. Broadcast Emergency Response is the official title for what widely distributed message that is sent when children go missing. Teddy, stop helping Conrad. Number one again. America's Missing. Broadcast Emergency Response is the official title for what widely distributed message that is sent when children go missing. That it borrows from its southern neighbor. I, I'm with you on that one. I'm not going to say it one way or the other, but I'm going to say a part of that last question that you're challenging in chat, that it borrows from its southern neighbor. Here's question two. Joining the league in 1998, what major league baseball club became the fastest expansion team in the league in history to win the World Series after it took the title in 2001? <laughs> Bree. Bree is from the southern country of Flemland. <laughs> Flemland. Fremish. Well, that's got to be the show the episode title so far. Fremish? No, the country of the country of Flemland so far okay. is, is 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 the first place here. Unless we get a good title for a Derek shirt. Uh, to again, joining the league in 98, what Major League Baseball club became the fastest expansion team in league history to win the World Series after it took the title in 2001? Question three. What son of celebrity parents was the star voice of the Netflix anime series Neo Yokio? and start alongside his father in the 2013 movie After Earth. Boy, do we need a vacation. Uh, 
That, I don't know why this question made me want a vacation so effing bad. Maybe because I was like remembering a screenshot. Maybe that's mm -hmm. it. <sighs> Three again. What son of celebrity parents was the star voice of the Netflix anime series Neo Yokio and starred alongside his father in the 2013 movie After Earth? We're getting on so many planes. <laughs> well, we're doing we're doing a tour of the U.S. We're doing it once this is over. We're doing a trivia tour of the U.S. because we want to see the people. Heck yeah. We gotta go to Jersey. I think we're hitting. I think we're going Texas, Virginia, Jersey, Seattle, and back. <laughs> Bree, don't put a year on it. Number four. What is the name of Mr. Krabs' 16 year old sperm whale daughter on the TV show SpongeBob SquarePants? Oh, Minnesota. We'd hit Minnesota. We'd absolutely hit up Minnesota. We do a Minnesota. lot of North South. Minnesota. Minnesota. My mother in law's oh, from Winnipeg. You know. Oh, he had, it was kind of funny looking. My wife can do a really good Fargo. About half, half, about half the time. Jersey is great because there's no laws. It, along with Oakland, are both America's Australia. <laughs> Anything goes. Number five. I love Jersey. Five. Due to its evergreen state lushness and not a reference to an L. Frank bomb work, what's the most popular nickname for Seattle, Washington? Oh, we're going to Vegas. Of course. The loop is going to be, the loop will be the country. So it's like, we're in, we're in Orange County, right? So we're probably going to go south first. We'd end in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Vegas is the last, is the last stop. Yeah, that's what I was, that, that's. Oh boy, because no one likes. We wouldn't have the energy to do anything after Vegas. Who leaves Vegas with the energy to do anything? Right? That's what I'm saying. We're like, we'll, we'll. Once this is over, we're going to set up, like, meetups across the country. It's going to be great. Number six. There's going to be, like, ten of us at every spot. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> There's not going to be a lot. At best. It's not going to be huge. It's going to be very small. Number six. What actress of Orange is the New Black and the Meg is set to portray Batwoman on the upcoming Arrowverse TV series of the same name? Six again, what actress of Orange is the New Black and the Meg is set to portray Batwoman on the upcoming Arrowverse TV series of the same name? Again, 100%, we plan to do a tour of the U.S. once we can, and it's safe to do so. And we're just going to plan trivia nights at your, like at bars across the country. Like, we're going to be like five or six, just Jack and I. And, uh, like, we'll find a back room for your guys' favorite bars. Invite your friends. We'll bring the trivia. It's free to play. Uh, but we got to do something to celebrate this whole online thing, yeah. and we got to meet some of you in person. So that's what we're going to do. 100%. Because we need to get out of the house. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <gasps> Here's seven. The 2009 movie Precious was based <laughs> on the novel Push. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm By done. what author? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Trivia oh question. Oh my god. Uh, inside <laughs> joke, everybody. Seven again, the 2009 movie Precious based on the novel Push? By what author? Uh, That's why we're doing Vegas the last one. Vegas will be the last meet. Because if you don't meet us up, the rest just come to Vegas. Do the Vegas one. Why is Jeff laughing so hard? It's, we can't say until laughing. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, Ken. Yeah, yeah. A cloud will lift. There's no lame duck period or anything. All right, folks, finally. Bree, that's not why she's laughing. Stop it's... it. <laughs> Here's your final question. What's the theme for the round, people? It might have been. Kristen, do you remember? You remember? Kristen remembers that question from an earlier quiz? Online? 
I usually do searches to make sure that doesn't happen, but maybe for uh, Trivia Olympics. We had to pull oh. some stuff that could be in there from the uh, TV of Trivia Olympics. Okay. Jack, can you please uh, put in chat the link to round six? Okay. Because we want to make sure that's there. Eric? We're working on it. All right. Good to know. Looks like the round six link is broken. We can fix that. Okay. Um, thank you, folks, for letting us know early. Uh, send. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm going to unmute me because we're going over some important stuff here, folks. Chris and chat, we had the same issue, but we just clicked it, ne clicked next a few times. We got to the right page eventually. Okay, they've got access. Okay. If you have, thank you, thank you, Chris. Sorry about that. We're gonna, or thank you, Chris, for the help on that. Um. Oh, Kristen, that's why I think my, uh, that's why I had to know maybe is was. Thank you, Kristen. Um. Yeah, we checked that source. Uh, TV stuff changes. Thank you, Kristen. Good point. We'll, we'll once we get to the uh, answer, we'll address that. Thank you. All right. Round six is coming up after we read the heckles for round number five. Let's go on to that and bring on the heckle sure, cam. Sure, yes, let's do it. Hello, heckle cam. Hello, everybody. Thank you for your wonderful everything. You your answers, very nice. your heckles, your opinions. I love the it. The words. We love you guys. Uh, Nick G has a heckle. Hey, Nick. Nick G wants to say, I tried Dr. Wine and it wasn't terrible. Hey, okay. It wasn't terrible, okay? That means it's not disgusting. So when like you suggest it to people, and they're like, "Ew," right? Yeah, they're wrong. They're not. It's not ew. It's, it's not, not gross. Ew. It's a very sweet drink because it's got it's got sugar on both sides. It's so like, sweet, if you it's like sangria, mild. It's nice. It's refreshing. It's got caffeine in it. Um, but yeah, if you try, you know, if you want to try Doctor Wine, you know, there we go. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. Longtime player. Uh, we miss you, Nick. I love the idea that we're infecting all of these players. It's the official cocktail. The official cocktail of people's trivia, Dr. Wine. That's, uh, by the way, Dr. Pepper and cheap red wine over uh, ice. Over ice. Uh, Vanessa has a heckle for us. Hey, thank you. Vanessa says, as always, thanks for hosting our weekly trivia fun. Cheers. Cheers emoji. The B-Saps. Hey, B-Saps. Well, thanks for being here. Vanessa, we appreciate you. Cheers. Cheers and clicky. There we go. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, that was it. Uh, we have one more. La one more. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vanessa. Our last one is a hefty heckle. It comes from Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. Nicole says, Pominator here. Thanks from Arizona, where it's just a balmy 111 degrees. Hashtag stay inside. Hashtag social distancing. Hashtag, easy. Hashtag play trivia. That's sun, easy. Sun. Sun. Sun emoji. Boy, is that easy for y'all. Like, hey. Hey, could you guys stay inside? Arizona's like, no, no problem at all. Not a single problem with that. Uh, and folks, if you have friends or families that are uh, members that are staying inside, let them know about us. Maybe play with them. Uh, I don't think we're always as tipsy. No, we are. It's on average. Always as tipsy. On average, it's tipsy. Thank you so much, Nicole. We appreciate it. Take care. Heckle can Thank goodbye. Thank you, hecklers. Let's go over the answers to round five. Penultimate round. 107 with Teddy's at Jesus. Round five answers, number one, America's Missing, Broadcast Emergency Response, A-M-B-E-R, Amber Alert. Amber Alert is the answer, number one. It's the public service announcement. Three, two, uh, joining the league in 98, what major league baseball club became the fastest expansion team in league history to win the World Series? The Diamondbacks, Arizona Diamondbacks. <sighs> Three. What son of celebrity parents was the star voice of Netflix anime series Neo Yokio and starred alongside his father in the 2013 movie After Earth? Jaden Smith is the correct answer there. Jaden Smith. If you just wrote Smith, uh, that's wrong. <laughs> that's one, an obscure and common last name, too. He has family members that actually share his occupation. <laughs> Number four. That happens a lot. What's the name of Mr. Krabs' 16-year-old sperm whale daughter? 
Pearl is the correct answer. Pearl crabs. Five. Due to its evergreen state lushness and not a reference to an L. Frank bomb work, what is the most popular nickname for Seattle, Washington? It's the Emerald City is the correct answer there. Emerald City is the correct answer there. Uh, for five. Six. What actress of Orange is the New Black and the Meg... Here is where I had it. We had that originally as was, but I corrected it uh, when I searched it and said is. So, uh, is was set to portray Batwoman on the upcoming Arrowverse TV series of the same name, Ruby Rose. Now, uh, she was in Orange of the New Black. She was in the Meg. She fits the theme. And she was set to portray Batwoman. So, that's no just typo. Good. No typo there. Seven. Don't try and get around it. That's not very strong of an argument. Seven, finally, uh, penultimately, the 2009 movie Precious, based on a novel pushed by what author? Sapphire! Okay. Based on the novel pushed by Sapphire. Jack. This, my husband is on an improv team. They have weird inside jokes. And, you know, about a decade ago, a little less, I when I joined their friend, friend group, a very common... You're on. Uh, a very common joke was... Uh, the, you mean a precious the based on the novel Push by Sapphire, and this was just very often repeated around the theater and rehearsals there and followed by laughter, and so it just brought me back to that funny time, and it has no explanation other than those groups of words are an inside joke. There is no... I don't know why. I actually don't know why. There is <laughs> no explanation other than that minute-long explanation we just gave. Based on the novel Push by Sapphire. All right, finally number eight. Jack, looking at the answers, what's the theme for the round? Uh, precious. Oh, oh, if you want amber, diamond, jade, pearl, emerald, ruby, sapphire, why those are gemstones. Gemstones is the right answer to number eight. How'd you do in this round, folks? Gemstones was the correct answer to round number five. Ruby played Batwoman for one season? Okay, then. Kristen, why are you on my butt? <laughs> You're the one that started this, Kristen. And now you're agreeing with me? Let's let's take this outside. Kristen, let's go. Mm -hmm. Kristen, outside. Outside, Kristen. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Folks, friends, family, people, uh, tell us how you did in that, in that round five. I have no idea. I would like someone after. We'll look into the why that was controversial afterwards. Well, the question was written in 2019, <laughs> back before this was chaotic, so. Hmm. Angela is telling us what applies for an answer at round eight. I love it. All right. You guys are great. Okay, here's what I have a problem with. Uh, uh, LX, LKX476, I've never seen you chat ever, and the first time you've ever chatted was in support of somebody assaulting me, so how dare you? <laughs> Uh, round six is your final round tonight, folks. It's your audio round. In this round, I've got eight clips for you. Eight clips that are going to be played twice. I know I said I wouldn't go back to questions. I know I said that. But in this round, we're going to play eight clips twice. Your job is to name the movie that you're hearing the clip from. That's it. The movie that has the clip in which you're hearing. Oh, that's wrong. Name the movie. The clue for this round is these are all villain monologues. These are all parts of the movie where the villain just goes off. Your job is to name the movie that we are playing for you because the villain thinks they've won and they're gonna start monologuing. So good luck folks, here's your first playthrough of these eight clues. Get those heckles in now. Uh, it's your last chance to send in heckles for rounds, uh, this game tonight. Send them in now. Here is your first playthrough. Good luck, folks. Number one. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Number two. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Number three. 
I chose my path, you chose the way of the hero. And they found you amusing for a while, the people of this city. But the one thing they love more than a hero is to see a hero fail, fall, die trying. Number four. My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. Number five. I became operational at the HAL plant in Urbana, Illinois on the 12th of January, 1992. Number six. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Number seven. All I wanted was to help you. I only wanted to help. And what did you say to me? Fly home, buddy. I work alone. It tore me apart. But I learned an important lesson. You can't count on anyone. Number eight. He turns to me and he says, Why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? All right, all right. That's the first playthrough of Round Six Audio Ground. These are all villain monologues. Now, folks, friends, family, people, you're only going to hear these clips one more time. After this, you have to send in the answers quickly. We have. The time we have to read the heckles that you sent in, if you still have time to send in heckles, you can do it. Your Venmo at People's Trivia, 7891 is the code for that. Uh, again, name the movie. <laughs> name the movie based on the villain monologue. Good luck, here's the final playthrough. Name the movie. Number one. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Number two. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed hustling rube with a little taste. Number three. I chose my path, you chose the way of the hero. And they found you amusing for a while, the people of this city. But the one thing they love more than a hero is to see a hero fail, fall, die trying. Number four. My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. Number five. I became operational at the HAL plant in Urbana, Illinois on the 12th of January, 1992. Number six. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Number seven. All I wanted was to help you. I only wanted to help! And what did you say to me? Fly home, buddy. I work alone. It tore me apart. But I learned an important lesson. You can't count on anyone. Number eight. He turns to me. And he says, why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? All right, that's all the time that you have to listen to the answer, or the questions, rather, to round number six, the audio round. Name the movie based on the villainous monologue. While you're typing in those answers feverishly, we're going to check in with the heckle cam for the last time tonight. This is your last chance to get those heckles sent in. If you want to buy more time, literally, tell one of the members of your team to send in a Venmo. 
to Add People's Trivia Co. With that being said, let's bring on Jack and the Heckle Cam. Jack, you ready? I'm so ready! Yeah. Oh, this heckle comes from Squirrel. Hey, Squirrel. Squirrel says, we're moving to Eugene in September. Get your rain gear and improv ready. I think it's what that <laughs> it okay. means, do you think? Okay. Yeah, yeah, both happen in Oregon a lot. Uh, Eugene, in, Eugene. And get your rain gear and improve already? No. Improv. Okay, okay that's what I thought. She knows. Uh, so, good to know. You'll be our neighbors to the north. We'll catch you on the on the on the circle down. Oh, uh, uh, yeah! I'd love to see you there, Squirrel. Yeah, hey, thanks, Squirrel. We appreciate it. We again, I am very excited about the cross country road trip we're going to be taking, uh, hosting trivia, uh, because uh, we need you to pay for it. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm picturing all the donation websites that we might use. <laughs> Our next heckle Thank you so much. is, you know, a very hefty heckle. Thank you so much. It comes from Jennifer. We love Jennifer. Thank you. Jennifer says, diet, Dr. Pepper, and red wine here. Hands up. Great. Okay. Wine emoji and swirly ass crazy emoji. Hashtag dog moms. She's trying it. Okay, diet, Dr. Pepper. If you're watching calories, no problem with that. Uh, if, and you're trying it. The people are trying it. They believe us. I love that they believe us. They're like, it's not gross. They're not, they wouldn't, like, it's like, hey guys, put, right before you drink it, put Mentos in your, in your, in your diet, diet Coke, you know? No, it's great. No, it's good. Thank you guys for trying yeah. at least. Thank yeah, you. for trusting in us. Even if you don't like it, we appreciate that you said yeah. it, like, not my thing. Yeah. No one's been like, effing gross, Austin. <laughs> Vomited uh, immediately. No, it's just, uh, usually it's like, too no. sweet. Yeah, or too... sometimes it's great. I love it. Yeah. You all often. Yeah, yeah. It's a sweet cocktail. <laughs> uh, we have more heckles. This one comes from Ronald. Hey, Ronald. Ronald says, "Best trivia night ever. The kids are here. Family night. Beer, beer. Winking tongue out. Just tongue out. Mischievous cat rolling crazy, laughing while crying. Uh, side eye smirk. Monocle." Dollar signs for eyes. We appreciate it, Ronald. Uh, yeah, family, we, we like it when people uh, play trivia with their family. Honestly, uh, it's generational coverage. You, you, different people know different things. It's a, it's a way to get people to, you know, celebrate and learn about what they know and what they don't know. And it's a way for families and friends to get together. So family night is a great trivia night. Thank you, Ronald, for yeah. uh, embracing that. Uh, you know, get together... It, in small numbers and safe ways, but yes. That too. Yes. I completely agree with that. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Our next more. heckle comes from Matthew T. Hey, Matt. Matt says, Mr. T, real name. Windows 10, minimize window shortcut. Unmute TV, Vizio. Trivia companies that do Rivia, Reba trivia. Okay. This is a Google search. This is a list of Google searches. <laughs> yeah, Google search. Mr. T, real name is a search. Windows 10, minimize window shortcut. Unmute TV Vizio. Trivia companies that do Reba trivia. We got Google history. <laughs> Derek liked it. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Very good. I love it. Uh, our next comes from Cassie. Hey, Cassie. Uh, uh, this heckle says, FYI, Fidel is an Angel fan. Okay. I'm a Dodgers fan. Okay. So let's go Dodgers next week. Sports. Uh, love, beer, porn, money, hamster. All right. Uh, I mean, sports are coming back. Uh, I mean, sports are coming back. That's, I mean, they're doing it right. So it just took a while for the billionaires to agree with the millionaires. That's all. You know. <laughs> Ah, okay, moving right along. Our next heckle comes from Christina. Hey, Christina. Christina says, thanks for the trivia. Stay safe out there. That's, oh, that's a great heckle. That's the message we want to broadcast Christina. all around. Stay safe. Social distance. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. Your, your, your concise and brief message, Christina, uh, speaks volumes. Top three heckle of the night. Christina, thank you. Trade bon. I know, but I like I like it just that the, the, you kept it short. And you knew what you were saying. I didn't. I complimented you for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one more heckle. This heckle comes from Eric, and it's a hefty heckle. Thank you so much. What's up, Eric? Eric says, Vegas meetup. 
Shots at the Picard b bar inside Bellagio on me. Baccarat. Baccarat. Yeah. We're going to meet Whoop. the Bellagio? I party downtown, my friend. Eric, now, here's what we do. We hang out downtown. Uh, it's all the same things as Vegas. Less crowd. Cheaper. Uh, boy. Downtown's where it's at. I mean, because hey. we don't have money. We, we're poor. we don't have money. So we, when we go to Vegas, we go downtown. Uh, golden Nugget, my friend. Last time I went to Vegas, I had a stomach bug. Aww. And we went to a buffet, and it was still amazing. But I just... It that's the, my goal. It was I the need, Bellagio. I need at that buffet without that stomach bug, and oh, I'll destroy it. She was a champion. Oh. With a stomach bug, she murdered the Bellagio uh, buffet. Yeah, I just, just uh, took it. And I, I, I want to see what happens without oh that my. stomach bug. Yeah. I want to see him go out of business. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you, Heckle Cam. We're going to say goodbye to you. Bye. Take thank care. you. And here are the answers to round six. Folks, friends, family, people, hope you did all right on this round. It's the last one. Answers number one. We're looking to name the movie. Number one, A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men is the answer to number one. A Few Good Men for number one. Number two, The Silence of the Lambs was the answer to number two. The Silence of the Lambs for two. Question three, Spider Man was the right answer to number three. Spiderman. Spider Man. We are going to have a Vegas party, folks. Mm -hmm. I swear we're going to have a Vegas party. It's going to be downtown, though, because that's cheaper. And we're a very small company. It's just us. Number four. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Also known as Austin Powers, I'm Mom. Uh, Austin Powers is the reason I can't, uh, couldn't introduce myself to anyone uh, in high school. Five. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Daisy, Daisy. Give me your answer, do. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Number six, Wall Street was the answer number six. That would have been one of the tougher ones in this round. Wall Street for number six. The final two might be a little easier. Seven, The Incredibles. Le Incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She, she took French out of Spanish, and I, I retain nothing. Mm -hmm. The Incredibles for number seven. Finally, before I give you the final answer to the final round, uh, mm -hmm. folks, friends, family, people, uh, join us. Tomorrow, uh, we have shows every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thank you. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, uh, here at live.peopletrivia.co. We have this Sunday is going to be an Avatar The Last Airbender quiz, all about the show uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. We're big fans of that show. Uh, the fans that, that like that show, uh, they're fans too. They're, they're very vocal. They're very, You know some of them. You don't know it. So just share it. Help us uh, get that uh, signal boosted out there because I know you have friends that like that show. Now, if you have no idea what we're talking about and you have children and you're locked in and you're quarantined, start watching this show. I Just take our word for it. Watch a season and then see how you feel, all right? It's only three seasons. It's a short show. It's not a bad show. Avatar The Last Airbender. That being said, here is the last answer to the final round. The Dark Knight is the right answer. I just had to, from the last quiz on Thursday, move that from number five to number eight. The Dark Knight is the answer to round number six, question number eight. Tipsy Karaoke Thursday is scheduled to happen. I'm going to be recording that tomorrow. Uh, I I can't find a time to do that, but yeah, that's still happening. Uh, where is she? Where's the kitty? She's oh, eating. she's eating. Great. You're not on live yet. All right, folks. We do two things at the end of every single show. Two things. One, we tell you whether or not I've been wearing pants this entire time. Have, have, have you been listening to someone without wearing pants? I, I, I mean, it's been a long show. The answer, oh, that was the change. Uh, no, it's still hot. We're wearing shorts, folks. I got my, I got my shorts on. Look at these, look at these white legs. I cannot go outdoors. How do you expect me to tan in this? There's no way I can tan in this. So I am wearing shorts tonight. That's that reveal. The second reveal is we show you our cat and official mascot, Shadow. Now, lucky are those that have already ordered the Shadow 2020 t-shirt. We've got, uh, if you've tried to email, uh, to email us and get that shirt after it's done, it's over. You can't get any more. Uh, let us show you the second thing that we show at this, sh uh, at this show. And that's our shadow cam. Look at shadow cam. She's live. She's eating dinner right now. Look at shadow. 
Oh, that's great. We used to pick her up and hold her, uh, but no, she's eating right now. You're live. Hey, baby. Oh, look at her go. We're watching a cat eat. Mm -hmm. You are watching a cat eat. That's what's going on. You sign up for trivia, and what you get is that. You get a cat just chowing down. She's a 13-year-old Russian blue, and she's having none of this. She's ignoring us completely. She's no-selling the fact that we have... There she is. Hi, kitten. There she is. Look at those eyes. Okay, she does exist. Folks, we're going to take out the shadow cam. Uh, friends, family, people, I hope you had a good time tonight. Join us right here. We're going to get that sec uh, intro cam back on. Uh, we hope you had a good time tonight. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow on behalf of myself, Austin, on behalf of my co-host, my co-producer, my wife, Jack. That's me. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 this is weird. There's so many arms. Uh, we hope you had a good time tonight. <laughs> uh, take care of yourselves and each other on behalf of the people that make up the People's Tribute Company, us, our cat Shadow. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. If not, we'll see you on Thursday. If not, we'll see you on Sunday. We'll see you soon. We're here. We're here. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a great night. Bye.